So today we have uh, Subhoditya with us, who has done our uh, QFRM program, the Certificate Program in Quantitative Finance and Risk Management. Subhoditya is currently working in the Quantitative Research Team at Deloitte as a Valuation and Analytics Specialist. He joined uh, Deloitte after completing the QFRM program and have just completed one year. So thanks, uh, Subhoditya, for joining us. Uh, we would like to hear about your experience in the QFRM course, and we would also like to have some more inputs and thoughts from you. So, thanks for joining. Uh, thank you, Nitish, uh, for having me here today. Um, it's a pleasure to, you know, uh, uh, give uh, what I got from IIQF uh, uh, almost a year back, um, uh, and and uh, the kind of feedback, uh, you know. Uh, uh, that I will be able to, you know, provide, which which would give a better insight to uh, other aspiring uh, quantitative finance um, um, aspiring uh, students out there. Um, so I would I would start with uh, uh, a brief uh, s summary about myself. Um, sure. Uh, so I I was working as a quantitative uh, analyst uh, in a in a, um, a small proprietary firm. Uh, in Navi Mumbai uh, before uh, joining Deloitte and before uh, uh, starting with IIQF and uh, I was my profile was uh, more towards uh, statistical analysis of uh, uh, fund returns and and um, um, making um, uh, you know uh, algorithms for optimization of portfolios and uh, in those fund analysis uh, line but uh, my interest uh, specifically lied in uh, derivative valuation um, uh, as such, um, uh, and uh, I, I I was uh, uh, you know looking for courses uh, in financial engineering um, out there in the market, and uh, I came across uh, this pristine um, uh, um, you know education institute known as IIQF, and um, I joined the course in uh, 2020 um, April. Uh, around April and, and uh, the courses of uh, six months and um, accordingly I, I got to start and um, um, had, a, had a wonderful experience uh, overall. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much uh, for your kind words. So we are extremely glad uh, that you have utilized the knowledge to the best and you could get a breakthrough into a quantum of one of the leading uh, names in the industry, right? So. That's wonderful. Yes. So yeah. Just like uh, what I would uh, like you to add is like if you can elaborate a little bit more about the course that you did and uh, also maybe if you can let us know why you choose this course. Sure, uh, Nitesh. Uh, let's let's uh, start from um, uh, the point that I just uh, described uh, earlier. I was uh, more inclined towards uh, derivative valuation and financial engineering, more towards uh, pricing models as such. Uh, right. So our uh, financial engineering and uh, quant roles in the industry, um, as far uh, as um, uh, I'm aware of, uh, it stretches to lens. Uh, so there are, uh, you, there is a risk side, there is a pricing side, there is, uh, you know, a fund analysis side and um, uh, uh, there are a variety of roles out there which um, typically requires uh, a math stat and some coding background in uh, in totality to you know not not uh, maybe um, a master of a coding but a brief background would be uh, very um, uh, very much attractive when you are applying for this role and and for the recruiter itself so uh, right. um, so when i i was looking for you know courses uh, um, in the in the market uh, typically what i came across is um, i our uh, indian um, system as such uh, do not have a very defined quantitative finance course in the market yet we do have uh, uh, you know mba we do have uh, um, uh, other uh, masters and uh, maybe maybe msc in finance also but uh, not really quant based uh, which would give you an exposure uh, to uh, all the you know coding uh, that is at least the uh, base of coding that you would require for pricing models or quantitative uh, like risk management and um, uh, on that side um, uh, at the same time the math background that is required 
uh, for such roles uh, is not very heavy um, uh, on these courses that we come across in the market so keeping that in mind um, masters was uh, really um, not uh, was not going to fulfill my uh, aspiration towards being a quant uh, because at the end of the day when you are applying in this industry uh, you will be checked for uh, these uh, nuances if they will be checking you on probability theories maybe maybe uh, on some basic um, coding specifically python these days uh, and uh, uh, those lines right um, so uh, amalgamation of all was not really available but then um, so I, I think it was a more of a hidden gem for me i i came across iqf uh, in back in 2019 and as i told you before i i joined in uh, 2020 april and uh, i was in touch with uh, nitish specifically um, uh, for uh, the course uh, that i was uh, interested in specifically the qfrm course that i later joined so typically um, I was researching on the content that uh, these courses deliver, uh, IIQF and other uh, you know platforms that are coming into existence um, now. And back then it was not very prominent, but they are coming now. But what distinguished this particular course uh, was um, specifically we what we see in the market is um, uh, once you get in a role, uh, you get streamlined, you you get exposure to uh, in a singular um uh, uh, singular maybe maybe um uh, risk management or maybe pricing models or maybe fund analysis any 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 particular stream but overall uh, in this course when when i went through the syllabus they they have they have uh, primer courses for math financial mathematics they have primer courses for uh, python which is which is what is required in the market uh, to be very straightforward at this point of time. Uh, uh, people do require CC++, uh, plus plus, but uh, that is uh, more not from a quantitative perspective, more uh, from a, a coding perspective uh, that they require. But in the market, uh, Python is being valued really, um, uh, like it, it is put um, uh, at the top of the chart. And uh, I specifically inquired with uh, IAQF, um, whether you know the python would be uh, you know uh, the focus would be on python and uh, the course is designed as such that you have primer for python you have primer for financial mathematics then you uh, get to the core of the course that is uh, risk management and pricing uh, models and then again within the pricing models uh, i when i was in the course i could uh, understand uh, you have fixed income pricing you have equity pricing you have commodity pricing you have fx pricing beauty of this thing is um, you get a chunk of all these uh, derivatives out there uh, it's it's not streamlined um, you will be given exposure and the models that there in the market specifically i would like to quote uh, the industry specific models um, uh, that that are being used by the banks uh, consultancies like uh, Deloitte um, or KPMG, uh, Big Fours, uh, as such, these models uh, were taught for uh, not only you know particular um, you know assets; they were taught across the asset classes. And um, this was you know this was one of the highlights that I could figure out from uh, reading the syllabus. Um, uh, and uh, that 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 just you know that was a hit for me. And uh, uh, given the fact that um, the faculties were you know when, when i when i came across the uh, list of faculties that were going to uh, give us some time off from their busy schedule uh, i i was pretty um, you know um, uh, very keen to join they 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 are very high profile and it uh, it just uh, gave me uh, an assurance that uh, if i am willing to spend some time with these people definitely i would be getting something which is relevant uh, at this point of time in the market that was my core uh, analysis of the course and that's why i uh, got into iqf wonderful uh, that's that's great to hear uh, so would you like to add anything about your experience with iqf yep um, definitely um, so let me let me start with uh, uh, what um, i was uh, what i expected and what i got um so i was expecting um 
as per the syllabus um uh, i was expect expecting um uh, lectures uh deep um understanding of faculty and then interaction and uh, you know some modeling um on class like live modeling and um etc but what i got was not only this um i got materials to follow up later so uh, definitely with like all other online classes we do get recordings and those are not the features to highlight um, but at the same time we got uh, uh, good materials on fixed income uh, pricing models um, uh, we got good materials on equity pricing models and the beauty is uh, not only you would be uh, able to uh, model in classes now, although it's not um, i would i would uh, iterate this uh, or uh, rather i would highlight this it's not possible for a particular uh, pricing model to be modeled end to end uh, in a class itself now, all the aspirants should have this um, outlook that uh, um, if if uh, we are given this um, base to start with um, of course the tutors um, uh, provide their own materials and own modeled um, um, uh, codes in uh, python notebooks and all of that uh, to you for your reference but uh, the goal should be rather you know to leverage those materials uh, leverage those uh, uh, you know study materials and and the, the um, uh, you know, specific iiqf contents that they provide um, and and um, try to uh, model them on their own uh, and then definitely when wherever you you uh, you get stuck now you um, you just uh, uh, hit a wall you think there is always uh, someone to help you out at iqf uh, specifically for me for my capstone project and uh, for my um, you know model um, like uh, private models that i have done as as a in house projects i got help from specific faculties that um, uh, we worked with back then and uh, to be precise uh, the model content the the con iqf specific content is not like uh, the literature that is out there uh, specifically if i would like to quote for an example now if you are looking at a hull white model uh, if you go out there some if you read on uh, research papers um, some there would be specific research papers like ssrn and all of that now if you if you go through them it will take a lot of time to understand and uh, it will be more of a a, a, a pursuit uh to um rather getting into complexity without understanding the basics how iqf material specifically designed is what you need to learn at this point of time industry relevant and then it helps you to model on your own and then when you do a deeper research you get the nuances of the model uh that's what i that's what um, uh, my experience has been uh, that's what i did in iqf and it it really helped me out to do my own in house models and then get placed as a valuation quant at deloitte wonderful wonderful thank you again uh, so much for the detailed elaboration on that before before parting again uh, if you can give some recommendation and suggestions for those who aspire to enter into this field um uh, uh, uh yeah definitely Nitish. i would i would try my best on this um uh, i am an aspirant um uh, still um i have not I, cracked sure. the whole thing uh, yet uh, but uh, how i started um was um, i i i gave it it requires some time definitely this is this is a very niche field to get in um and uh, moreover uh, after getting in um, it does not stop there uh, so the learning is very con continuous um, specifically there are so many pricing models out there there are so many risk management models out there uh, it's not uh, uh, it takes good amount of time i'm i'm uh, when i'm in the industry right now now i understand it it will take a good amount of time to understand uh, what is going on um, through and through uh, so specifically i would like to uh, quote uh, certain roles that um, you know the aspirants should look at uh, while you know setting their goals um, majorly um, uh, there there is valuation um, uh, more valuation role that you have valuation specialist role the one i am uh, currently working as uh, then there is a model validation role then there is model development role 
these specific three um, uh, uh, you know um, stream of lines uh, would definitely require a quant a quantitative finance application um, if you are uh, setting your path to uh, any one of them na it does not mean uh, so i have uh, already quoted before you need a decent math background decent coding background um for uh, applying to these roles but that does not necessarily mean that you uh, have to uh, be a graduate uh, in computer science or you have to be a graduate in um uh, mathematics um uh, because that's what this course is for uh this course is uh, uh, rather preparing you for the industry um and uh, giving you a background what you require going further and uh, building a foundation uh, uh, i i do not believe that uh, there are courses who's going to make you ready for uh, the work that you going to get in once you get into uh, um, an institution uh, so you you go forward after that so uh, keep working on um, uh, your python projects Uh, make in house projects uh, get exposure to uh, you know risk management models uh, uh, pricing models uh, try to uh, build your own um, you know implementation on uh, maybe a jupiter notebook or a spider wherever uh, you can um, and uh, uh, wherever you uh, you feel that uh, this is uh, where what i'm doing is not correct or not adequ- adequate um uh, you can surely reach out uh, to the faculty members uh, that uh, iiq provides uh, so uh, th- th- that was my uh, line of action wonderful wonderful thank you once again for joining and thank you so so much for your kind words all the best sure. best wishes for all your future endeavors keep growing thank you so much yeah thank, thank you. you so much